Hey friends, Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of She Makes Club, here to do a She Journals the Word Bible art journaling video. Today I'm going to do Jeremiah 29, 11, and 12, and I'm going to be using some of my close to my heart shimmer brush pens. I like to use these a lot to highlight. This is a brand new color, but this green is a little too dark for highlighting, which is okay. I'm just going to switch it up. I'm going to use the melon color, um, and I'm just going to highlight out the verses that I want to kind of focus in on. I'm going to be doing kind of a palm tree type scene. So I'm going to use a little bit of my close to my heart masking tape to just do a strip at the verses. I'm okay with it going around on either side. I just don't want it to, um, I just want there to be a clean crisp line right where the Bible verses are so that nothing is covered by my distress oxide ink. I'm going to be using a large variety of colors in the orange and yellows and some of the blues and purples and just really blend together. And in this video, I really want it to show how, um, you you can really layer up the colors when it comes to distress oxide inks. The biggest thing with it is you want to make sure each color layer is kind of set or dry um, in between to really get almost like a cloud or um, brushed look. So as you can see, I'm kind of like dabbing on different colors of reds and purples and pinks, and it's going to give um, a very blended but also very beautiful look as far as like kind of cloud-esque looking things in the sky and it's really easy to sort of layer up and, and blend but just using that heat tool to dry in between makes a huge huge difference when it comes to working with the distress oxide you can see how that pink really sits on top of there um, so 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 much nicer um, and easier so I absolutely love, love, love this um, Bible verse. And I know that Jeremiah 29, 11 is a very popular uh, common verse that people use for comfort and different things. But one of the, one of the pieces that uh, I feel like gets missed a lot when you read Jeremiah 29, 11 is verses uh, 12 and 13. So I'm just going to read this. I am using my VersaFine ink. I love using VersaFine with my letter stamps over top of Distress Oxide inks. It comes out very crisp and, and clear. So if you're looking for a good ink to stamp on top of Distress Oxide, I would definitely recommend the VersaFine for that. So Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for peace and not for evil, plans to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. And I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you. And I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you. And I really love that part of Jeremiah 29, 11. It's not just that he gives us a hope and a peace. It comes when we are seeking him. And I really just wanted to point that out today and give that little piece a um, highlight in God's word as uh, we're going through and journaling these different aspects and areas. And now I'm taking a brush pen and I am just using um, a black brush pen and I'm going to draw in some kind of like palm leaves. So I'm just doing long um, strips of black and then just going to let it kind of brush and stroke down and uh, give little, you know, palm leaf kind of looks to it. And um, you know, you can have fun with this. This is a new kind of thing for me to do, but I'm kind of like, you know, just poking it in there, sticking it out, letting it come around, um, off the tape. That line's a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be, but I'm still just playing with it. And that's something that you're really able to do. And if you've watched some of my other videos on Bible art journaling, trust the process. It's okay to make mistakes. Um, even if you don't absolutely love the way some things turned out or worked out for you, a lot of things can be easily covered up with just using some, uh, white acrylic paint and going back over it again. And it's really, really that simple, but I really hope that this encourages you today. I, um, highlighted everything from verse 10 all the way through, uh, verse 14. And I just think it's such an encouraging thing that yes, he gives us a future and a hope, but we also have a job to seek after him and find him. 
hope that this encouraged you today. I hope you enjoy the moments. And I hope to see you again here at ByMeganElizabeth.com. And join us inside She Makes Club, where we love to share our life and make things that we love together with the cricket and so much more. Enjoy the moments. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.